Hi and welcome to Building Modern User Interfaces with TMS vCL UI Pack. My name is Holger Flick and I'm the evangelist from TMS Software and I'm also the owner of Flix Engineering LLC in the United States. Before I'll introduce you to all the cool new features in the current vCL UI Pack, I'd like to give you some introduction what the vCL UI Pack actually is. Ever since I got my first version of Delphi, which was Delphi 2, there was always a component VCL set from TMS software. Even though it has been renamed a couple of times and the amount of components have continuously grown, it has been a constant pillar of the Delphi community. So the VCL component pack at this stage gives you grid components, it gives you rich edit components, tree views, a PDF library, spell checking, even Kanban boards, for logistics, different lists, HTML support, edits, a planner component, which reminds you of the calendar in Outlook, and of course, other things to make working with the system graphics easier. And also, you will always be able to stay up to date with modern toolbars, ribbons, and other controls that you need to build modern user interfaces. Here on the screenshot, you see one of the most recent developments, style support, also, the styles from Embarcadero that have been included in Delphi are supported, but also the styles that TMS introduced much earlier into their product lines. And this was actually the main focus for 2019. Styles are now supported for the VCL styles that have been defined or the file format has been defined by Embarcadero. And there's not only styles available from Embarcadero, but also from third parties. Of course, all the TMS styles that have been introduced before and will be introduced in the future are still supported for all components. And as I just mentioned the TMS styles, TMS introduced recently the new Office 2019 style, which is available in three variants, white, gray, and black. And of course, gray is available in light gray and normal gray. Here on the bottom of the slide, you see the four variations of the style. Styling for Office 2019 is not just styling because everybody who worked with the new Office products surely knows the difference. Look at the top at the Office 2016 representation of the ribbon. You see that you have clear tabs and in Office 2019 and Office 365, these tabs have become simple text lines with an underline if it's enabled. And what makes things even more complicated, there's an animation when you switch between tabs. As you see in the demonstration that I'm going to show you, this has all been implemented by TMS. So not only the style, but also the look and animations have been incorporated into the styling. This is true for T-Advanced Office Pager, Office Tab Set, and the Toolbar Pager. Another major undertaking in 2019 was dealing with different screen resolutions and screen densities. More about that later. However, screen resolutions have grown significantly since the inception of Delphi. It all started with 480p, as it's called now, and now we have to deal with 8K ultra high definition displays. In addition to the simple resolution being bigger, the density of the pixels has also been increased. Meaning that if you have, for example, an image that is 100 to 100 pixels, if that image is being displayed on a display that has a zoom level of 200, meaning the density is twice as high as the other display, your image will only be displayed as 50 times 50 pixels, meaning your application has to compensate for that. So high DPI is defined as follows. A normal Windows VCL app run at 96 dpi, meaning at 100%. The IDE itself also runs at 96 dpi. However, for example, if you buy a new Surface, that screen most likely runs at a zoom level of 150 or 200, meaning all your images will have to be rescaled when you run your application on that display. The IDE adds a necessary manifest file to your application and then the window sizes and everything are being adapted. However, that does not work automatically for images and icons on your toolbar. Furthermore, there's a different scenario if you have multiple displays. Not every monitor might have the same DPI setting. So if you move your windows between those displays, they have to be rescaled every time. 
So high DPI has an impact on control sizes, the size of your graphical elements inside of the controls, font sizes, and as already mentioned, image sizes. In the latest Delphi release, Delphi Rio, Embarcadero provided a T-Image Collection. What this new control, T-Image Collection, does is it does not only provide one image to an image list, it provides multiple images depending on the size that is needed to an image list. However, as you can see here in the preview, you have to define these sizes. Here, the icon for the T-Color box is being rescaled for 16x16, 16 16, 24, and 128 pixels. To give you an example, your button uses the 16x16 16 16 image, and if you run this application on a 100% zoom level, the 16x16 16 16 image is being used. If you run the same application on a 200% high DPI display, the VCL will automatically use the 32x32 32 32 image which has not been provided so far in this preview. So what will happen now is that the VCL will try to interpolate between the 24 times 24 and the 128 times 128. So in order to provide all the different cases, you have to provide images for all different high DPI levels to be thorough and to make your images look crystal sharp. TMS introduces another solution for this. TMS will introduce a image list that supports SVG vector images. That means all the different sizes are being calculated and provided on the fly without you doing anything. You have to provide a vector image for your icons. These vector images work with any VCL control, that means T-Image, but also with the image collection, so you can use them easily with the standard toolbar controls from Embarcadero, but also, of course, with the toolbar controls and other icon controls from TMS software. Support is available at design time and obviously at runtime. The big advantage is that your application will be ready for the future. In the future, there will be much higher resolutions, much higher densities, and your application will be able to scale the vector images as needed. They will always be crystal sharp and will never look pixelated. Let's conclude this session with a demonstration of the new styling and vector support. Here you see that all the icons are crystal sharp as they have been provided as vectors. Sadly, because of the recording, I cannot change the resolution of the video so that I can present how everything is being rescaled automatically. What I can show you, however, is the styling, how different it looks. See if I move over to business and appearance that the line is being animated and resized. Also, if you change the appearance, for example, from Office 2019 wide over to Office 2019 black, everything is being restyled in the dark theme. And of course, all the animations and everything else still works. Hopefully we triggered your interest at the new VCL UI pack. If you want more information about it, go to vcl.tmssoftware.com to build modern user interfaces that are ready for the future.